Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the six advantages of cloud computing. And this is not my opinion, this is straight from AWS. This is something that they refer to as being these core benefits you get from utilizing the cloud. The first one is that you get to trade capital expense for variable expense. Now, a lot of CFOs will prefer operational expenditure instead of capital expenditure. Now, of course, this does depend on the economic climate, factors like the cost of money and the interest that you might be able to get from your money. However, with CapEx, you are outlaying a large amount of cash. So if cash flow is a challenge for your business or money is essentially expensive for you as a business, you don't really want to spend on purchasing servers. You would prefer to use a pay-as-you-go pricing model. That's the OPEX, where you're paying on a monthly basis. So CapEx can be tax deductible over a depreciation lifetime. That can be an advantage. Uh, whereas OPEX has another advantage, which is that it's tax deductible in the same year. So again, this is all about sort of financial and how the cash flow of your business is being managed. The second one is massive economies of scale. With AWS, they have built this massive platform all over the world. They get very good pricing, of course, on all of their compute, many of which they manufacture themselves. Uh, and their data centers and so on. And then, of course, they have all these operational efficiencies of building the software, operational processes, and so on. And they're able to therefore pass on a lot of those economies of scale that they have created to their customers. And as you can see on this list here, they, they have some of the biggest companies in the world as their customers. So a couple of things here is that you've got aggregated usage across hundreds of thousands of customers, and that means for you, lower variable costs. Now, the third is to stop guessing capacity. I know that I've had this problem in my career. If you've been working in IT for some time, you know what I'm talking about. In the middle here, we have in green what you actually needed in terms of the compute power for a server. And then in pink here, we have what you thought you needed. So often we used to over estimate what we needed in terms of compute resources because it's better to say well I'll, i'm going to purchase a server and i'm going to say well it, it needs this amount of cpu and this amount of ram and find out later that you provisioned a little bit too much than too little because too little means that you've got a performance issue but what it means is that over the course of you know lots of servers across a data center you end up with a lot of wasted capacity so that can become very very costly with aws you can just provision what you need. And if you find you need more resource or less resource, then that's quite easy and programmatic in terms of the way that you can then change that. It might even be automatic. The fourth advantage is to increase speed and agility. So that means that you get to deploy resources easily and quickly. You can leverage the huge amount of different services that are available from machine learning to analytics to artificial intelligence, compute, database, everything is there in the cloud, it means that you can deploy applications and adapt to changing business needs really quickly. And that can be a huge advantage. Agility is the, the ability to react quickly to change, bringing out a product to market, for example, faster than your competition. If you're leveraging these cloud services, that can definitely be a huge advantage. Number five is stop spending money running and maintaining data centers. Of course, AWS don't want you to do that. They would rather that you take that money that you would otherwise spend in data center management and put it into the cloud. Of course, that's good for them, but it's also good for you because it means that you can put it into innovation. You can, instead of spending money managing servers in a data center, you're spending that money bringing new features for your customers, uh, adapting quickly to business needs or changing market climates. So move the money into innovation instead. Number six is go global in minutes so easy in the cloud to start deploying your applications around the world. I know certainly as an architect of many years experience, I used to deploy things like databases and applications in different parts of the world for my customers. And trying to do that was extremely complex. It took sometimes months and a lot of money. Now I can do it in a couple of minutes in the cloud. Real huge advantage of cloud computing. Very easy now to start spreading our companies and our infrastructure and our applications around the world, getting them closer to different markets or different customers. <laughs>